Hi everyone, this is Stephen Williams, and I'm here to present to you my final project, my capstone project for Flatiron School. Um, my, our cohort was uh, the software engineering cohort in Houston for the first cohort of 2020. So what I've created here is a, a way for users to upload and um, and then view others as uh, VR museums, virtual reality that is. Uh, I created this because I like well, I like to go to museums and I like to take pictures and I think that's a great way to learn, but it's not a great way, you know, it's not a great way to go back and sort of recap what you've looked at because, you know, how, how often do you view the photos you've taken? So I thought it would be a great thing to do to just add a more immersive experience. So what I did was I decided to mix together um, three different things. One is a, a React or a React front end and then a React 360 front end for the virtual reality side of things and then that's all built on a Rails back end to supply uh, to supply the the actual data itself and then of course for image hosting I'm using an outside source called Cloudinary and I integrated that with my my back end to serve up the image source addresses but this is going to be a quick review if you want a longer review of this then I actually have um, I've got some a link to that in the description of this video this is I want to try to keep it to just a couple minutes so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log in and that takes me to my profile showing the museums I've created and then if I want to see and the exhibits I've created that is and then if I want to browse all museums that will show mine and ones that other users have created this is just a dummy museum I made but I'm going to go to the Colin Sculpture Garden because this is the one that I've added the most rooms to and, uh, and exhibit to. So as in real life, a museum is made of exhibits, an exhibit is made of rooms, and the rooms are what house your item. So really your rooms are your basic fundamental building blocks uh, to build out the VR experience. As you can see here, there are little thumbnails of the rooms themselves. And if you see that sort of curvature there, that's actually uh, a fa a f and a result of an equirectangular photo being displayed in 2D. Equirectangular photos are basically what you have to, uh, to view a 360-degree 300, photo. So uh, you can either use photos there, or if you are into 3D modeling, then you can actually make your own environments and render those as an equirectangular projection and upload those, which is going to be super cool. So as you can see within the rooms, there are different items within each room. And these items are, in this case, they're the sculptures that the room consists of. So that's great. You can actually view the item itself. And that shows you some information about the item. Uh, because I'm the creator of this room and this, this exhibit, then I'm able to edit these items if I choose to, but I'm not going to choose to. And then we're going to just view the exhibit in VR and that's the you know that's the real the core of the experience of the website so it takes it takes a couple seconds because the 360 degree photos are quite large but you can see up top there's an information panel that shows you where you are essentially at the bottom there is an items panel so any item you've added to a room you can click on that and then it pops up with just a little panel about the item itself. Um, this one, I from this angle, I thought maybe it's a horse. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't actually find a uh, an information panel on it, and the Glass L School of Art was closed, so I couldn't ask anybody. But that's what it is in my mind. So we're going to navigate to the next room, and then that will take you to see a cloud column. Um, then you can see Wazo here and an unknown globe there. I also wasn't able to find a panel about this, but see, navigating to that. And any of these that you want to look at the information of, you just click on the, the items panel itself. Um, and this is really the basic of, uh, the basic long and short of the, of the experience. Um, uh, it's one thing that I would say is whenever you are doing this is, um, Whenever you're creating creating an exhibit, if you if you pay attention to the order in which you add the rooms and the order in which you add the photos to the rooms, it gives you more of that experience of walking through it. So you can see like there's the Houston triptych behind us was the Il Pellegrino, and then in front of us is that uh, back one, two, three, and four. So 
as you go to the next room, it'll be you know the ones that you're looking at. So that's just that's just uh, you know on the user to be you know specific about what what they upload. But uh, we've now reached the final room, which has you know, Recuerdo de Machu Picchu, and then as you've reached the end of your exhibit, then you just go back to the 2D site that takes you back to the just the React website. And um, everything I've built here, um, the styling is a combination of bootstrap and a little bit of customization to make things look you know, specifically how I wanted them to. So uh, whenever you're done, you just log out and logging out clears your local storage and um, then you're securely logged out. Just, oh, for, uh, for those who are curious, as I mentioned, I'm using a Ruby on Rails backend, React front end, React 360 for the, uh, for the 360 degree photos and the VR experience. And uh, that's more like a React native framework. And then for logging in, I'm using just JWT authorization. And I am using, as I mentioned, Bootstrap. And I think that covers all of the, the frameworks and tools that I've used. If you want to find out more, check out my other video. And I, uh, I will link to that in the description. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or any comments, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you, especially if you're working on a, you know, virtual reality projects yourself, because uh, there's always more to learn. All right. Y'all have a good day.